the U.S. women's team want a better deal over wages before agreeing to play in this month's International Ice Hockey Federation World Championship. Top U.S. soccer player Alex Morgan tweeted, from one U.S. women's national team to another, we are behind you. Everyone help our USA women's hockey team in fighting for what's right. Let's get more on this now from Ahiza Garcia, sports business reporter with CNN Money. She's in our New York studio. Ahiza, great to see you and great to have you on World Sport. How do we get here and how serious is this? Well, Alex, Alex, essentially the women on the national team have been fighting for this for about a year now. Um, they've been trying to, you know, come to terms with USA Hockey, the governing body um, that governs the sport in the U.S., um, and they've been unable to, to come to terms. All they're asking for, essentially, is equitable treatment. Um, they want to get fair, fair pay, uh, a living wage. They're not asking for, you know, millions of dollars. Um, one of the players I spoke with, uh, Monique Lamoureux, she even said, it's not like we're asking for even hundreds of thousands of dollars. We just want to make a living wage to be able to play and to feel like we're getting the same support that the men in this sport are getting in this country. Um, we actually have another quote from uh, Megan Duggan. Um, she said that we are asking for a living wage and for USA Hockey to fully support its programs for women and girls and stop treating us like an afterthought. We have represented our country with dignity and deserve to be treated with fairness and respect. Um, and now that's a key theme here. Um, Monique Lamoureux, who I spoke with, said that, you know, they've gotten some negative criticism for this, saying that, you know, isn't it just an honor to play for your country? Um, and their counter to that is, if we were only being paid 3.5, you know, if, if people were working and not being paid for three and a half years out of four, um, would you be happy to be working for free? So it's definitely, um, you know, they definitely see it as an honor to, to play for their country. And so this isn't something that they arrived at lightly. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a big decision, especially since the U.S. is hosting the games um, and the women are the defending champs. Okay, he's, uh, briefly, how do you think it's going to pan out from here? Well, they've definitely gotten some guidance from, um, you mentioned women on the national team, the soccer team, have also, you know, taken this pay dispute and raised this with U.S. soccer. So Julie Foudy, a former player, um, Alex Morgan, as you saw, tweeted, they've definitely gotten some guidance from them. So who knows how it will pan out, but as of right now, um, it seems as though they're still sitting out, and USA Hockey actually put out a statement saying that, we acknowledge the players' concerns and have proactively increased our level of support to the women's national team. We have communicated that increased level of support to the players' representatives and look forward to continuing our discussions. Um, one of the key things here that the women on the national team are, are saying that, you know, still hasn't been addressed um, is the fact that, you know, they're not actually receiving money from USA Hockey um, in, in the period that's not running up to the Olympics. So they do get funding from USA Hockey in the six month period leading up to the Olympics, but the rest of the time they're not. Um, so as of right now, it seems like, you know, they're sitting strong and they're going to be sitting out this tournament. But again, like it's not something they arrived at lightly. Um, they definitely yeah. want to represent their country um, and, you know, play for the U.S. to defend their title. They are um, okay. the defending champs.